Hey guys, guess what? The event that had been popping up for a while about this place becoming advanced has happened. I don't know what occupying power there was. We were just watching it. We weren't actually interfering with it at all. We had passive observation on. But they really dislike us because we completely surround them. Also, we have a claim on them. I just did that. And I'm going to use it right now before they can do anything. Because I really don't want. We have only our customers' best interests at heart. Them being there. That's just a problem. Where's my fleet? Oh! Well, that's a problem. They don't have a fleet, though, so that's okay. My fleet, my, I guess my, uh, patrol was in their system when they popped. And they immediately closed borders with me. And then I immediately declared war on them. Because I really don't want them making an alliance with somebody out here to cause trouble for me. So, gonna grab them, I'll settle that, and then I'll probably, I don't know, make that a vassal? Once I get Mega Engineering, I'll make this area up here a vassal, as soon as I start settling the Mega sh the uh, Ring World. That sounds about right. A subsidiary. Yeah. Subsidiary. That's what they're called when you're a corporation. Fastest, please. And my fleet will be back soon, and then I'll just fly in here and beat them up. Their 263 is not strong enough to land on any of my worlds, I don't think. Definitely not. Although my capital is lightly defended. I don't like that. Two, three, yep, that's five. I'll probably replace this with an army base. Uh, eventually, not right now. But since I immediately declared war on them, oh, you, go in there, mess them up. I'm also going to need a ground army. A ground army of clones. I don't know what kind of defense they have, but it isn't much. Because they don't have any buildings at all, they just barely got their reassembled ship shelter up. They have a defense of 72. Plus... They'll probably land this 263, so I just have to be able to beat, like, 350, and I'll be fine. Very exciting, though, I know. I don't even need my fleet. Am I up researching any technology to improve them? No. You guys just go ahead and upgrade. Oh. You want to trade now? Sure. Too bad. Oh. Oh. Hostile takeover against these guys. Too bad. Who are your rivals? Oh, you don't like these guys. Guess what? I don't like them either. That's what I like to see. 
Although... Yeah, let's cancel that before the next month ticks over. Oh, I can't. Let's give them a really good trade deal then. Rivals with allies. How would you like... Energy? You're pretty good for resources, I see. I said put you up 37. Up to 40. For 10 years of minus 20 minerals. Sure. trying to keep them at receptive, which means I'm going to have to keep bribing them, because rivals with allies is a problem. But I really need these guys to open their borders. How about I just guarantee your independence? You are rivaled by... Okay, I don't really want to guarantee your independence. Because they won't like it, and they're my friends. <sighs> I'll probably just unrival these guys. When I can, which won't be for a while. But I could declare a seize assets war, but I won't be able to actually enforce that war, even though I'm stronger than them. Because they have compl like, I don't have access to their territory. Also, they have a defensive pact, so I probably shouldn't. Should have thought that one through a little better. Oh well. I'm building up a lot of trust with them anyway. But yeah, they have completely grabbed every single planet. The powerful force of one ship come to beat you up. How dare you try to lay claim to my territory? Unacceptable. Beat them up. Get them. Looks like they're just firing lasers. Maybe they get armed with whatever weapon I have researched. I think that's the X-ray laser. Also, it doesn't look like they're jumping away. Looks like a 100% kill rate. Yep. So they have 72 fleet strength. Or 72 army strength. Just hang out overhead. They're declining. Research actualized. Because they have no buildings and no food. Give me more energy, please. What was this? Starbase capacity. 
I want that because I need more food. Nanite bombs, away! I'm not sure if they're just dying or if they're uh, leaving. Either way, these planets have... Oh, Fern Glade's out of work. Uh, what can I put here that would give them work? Something that employs more than... Oh! That's right. Put these here. Replace this with... I just got this building. This. Fern Glade, though. We need something that will employ more than two people. This is actually tempting. Oh hey, our energy's in the positive again. That trade deal is good stuff. Why don't we just slap down another uh, one of these? More commercial. Too bad I couldn't just force vassalize them. I had the opportunity, but I didn't. I wanted to see what would happen, and what would happen is no events other than, oh, they're getting more advanced really fast, and then all of a sudden they're spacefaring. Bam! Which is pretty boring. They're making a third army, and then we're gonna go. I'm just waiting for Mega Engineering to show up here. I have access to citadels, so it should show up. Citadels and zero point power, I think, are the requirements. I'm not entirely sure. But even then, it's not very common. I'd like to avoid... That's pointless for me right now because I can't build any branch offices. I'd just like to avoid building, selecting Voidborn. All right, armies. Enter orbit. Let's get a general. Less upkeep, please. Enter orbit. Rogue scientist uplifted these guys. I bet they're happy. Yep, they're so much better off now. Closing their borders to me. In the middle of my territory. A no-go zone? I don't think so. Bomb the desolate wasteland that pretends to be inhabited. Yes, hydroponics. Uh... Sure. This place would actually be okay for food. We'll probably terraform it. <laughs> okay, have fun with that. Uh Nothing really interesting. Kinetic batteries are nice. Let's get some torpedoes. 